I don't know if they just gonna come away or what. Oh. Hey everybody, this is the Desert Whisperer again and let me show you what I found last round this time I was walking through this trail and I saw this barrel cactus right here on the side of the trail and I saw um, yellow paper wasp landing on it but I, then I didn't see where it went because I was on the other side of the barrel cactus so I just saw it disappear and when I went around the cactus I noticed this this hole on the top of the of the barrel cactus and to my surprise when I looked in there more carefully I don't know if you are going to be able to see this but let me zoom in I notice those um, wasp uh, nest that they made and back then there were maybe around two or three wasp coming out because they heard the noise that I was making with my camera and everything and they came out just to check on me, just to see what I was doing, but they didn't do anything to me. And right now there is one flying around, let me see if I can get it going in, just so that you can see how they, they live in there. Right now, they about two or three going inside already, but they, even though I'm making noise, they are not uh, coming out to check. But there is uh, one flying around wanting to go in. And what I have read about this wasp is that only the females stink, the males don't stink. So, let me see, I think this one is going in. Okay, I think this one is going in. See. See, and they go in and they just disappear in there. And I think this is around the time when they go back in their nest because every time I stop by there is several of them flying around and then they just go in and then they don't come out again they just would come out to check out a little bit but they stay in and I can see they make several nests already because last year I only saw two and this one, the one that is right, that one right there, that one you can tell is very new. But there is like two or three a little deeper in there. So it looks like they have been working on it. I will get the camera a little closer in a little bit. I just want to see if there is more going in but this is a very particular place where they nest i usually see them nesting on mesquite trees or palo verde trees sometimes on saguaro cactus okay there is one that has something hanging on the 
on the legs let me see if I can if I can get the video right there that one had something hang it, hanging from the legs but I don't know what it was it looked like something green and there is another one coming back as you can see that one right there in the nest is cleaning its face there is another there is one more one thing to go, to go in so I, as I was saying I was reading that only the females stink that the males don't stink and last year last year or two years ago I found one of their nests on a mesquite tree and it was a really good sized nest and every day I, I would go by and I would um, take videos from a little far away so that they wouldn't see me and one day I was walking by and I forgot that the nest was there and one of them just came out of the nest and just sting and stung me on the on my arm. It stung really bad. It hurt really, really bad. It um, it didn't get swollen or anything, but it really hurt. And it got the spot where it got me. It got all red. So I don't know if that one right there is getting ready to come and sting me or, or what, but see it looks like he's watching me, he or she is watching me, and <laughs> it was making some noise. There is another one flying around, I think it's going to go in, in a little bit, there is one more, there is two flying. So I think, like I said, I think this is the time when they go back in. There is one more going in. They just went in. And I think they are working on that on that newer nest. And there is two more flying around. So the, it is a it is a pretty good sized family that live there. See there is three right there, one flew out and there was two more flying around. I don't know how many are under the, the, the nest. I would guess there is a, a few more, but um, every time I go by around this time, I see a, a lot of activity, like a lot of them are coming back from their activities. See, one more just left. So there is a lot of activity right now. Let me see if I can get I can get the camera a little closer. See one more just left right now. But there is more of them flying around. Hopefully I can set the camera right here where I can get where I can get them. You can see that one a little bit closer.
that one is not living that one is just like checking around just to see what let me see okay i think that's the best i'm gonna see so that is around right now there is about five of them flying around and I think we will see some of them going in, going back in in a little bit. I even see some. Um, there is um, a cricket right inside, and there is another cricket trying to go in. So let's see if we get to see. No, the cricket, the cricket just came out. Came back out. He was about to go in, but I think he saw one of them, one of the wasp coming out, and he got scared and ran away. Okay, there is one more going back in. He's checking the camera out. Just from this side of the screen. And now he's going in. He just went back in. And there is another barrel cactus that I found that it has a hole like that, but the hole goes all the way through and it comes out from the bottom of the of the barrel cactus on the side, but it goes all the way in, all the way in, and it comes out the other side. It is still alive, but I don't think it's gonna live that long. This one also looks like it is dying, but I don't know how long. It is going to to still to still be around, but in the meantime, this was made their house in there, and it is a really nice place for the, for them to be to make their nest because when it rains, they don't get wet. I don't think it gets too hot in there because of the the water that the barrel cactus keeps in. I guess it is a little cooler inside there so that maybe that's why they like to to live in there and by the way they live during the winter they are not here during the winter i didn't see them at all during the winter and um just a, a, about a month ago i came back just to to check on them and they i, I started seeing some activity mm -hmm. So I think it is around this time when they, they it gets it doesn't get um, or it is not too hot anymore. Um, by the way, by the way, it is around 7 p.m. So it is not as hot as during the day. Today was 100 degrees. So I think they wait until this time when it gets cooler for them to go and do their their activities. So as I was saying, it is a really nice, a really cool place to make their nest because the the barrel cactus is like leaning towards one side. So if it rains, the water doesn't go directly in there. And also the sun doesn't really hit the inside of the cactus during the day. And as you can see, another one went in. 
I don't know how late they they come back, but um, I saw several of them flying around. So I guess they wait until it starts getting dark, and then they all of them will go in for the night. So I'm surprised that none of them have attacked me. I don't know if they are, are males or females, but I would guess there is a female in there, at least one female. So, but they have never tried to attack me, even though I have got really, really close to the to the entrance of their nest. They have never tried to to attack. I don't know if that one is going to come out or if it is going just to, to be checking the area. There is another one trying to go in. Oh, see, there is. I think they... I think they wanted to mate or something. I don't know. But as you can see, there is some activity in there. There is another one coming back. He just landed and he is going. See, there is a cricket. Now you can see the cricket coming out. That cricket was all the way inside. I don't know if they just came away or what. So one left and another one is coming back. And this one has something green on his legs too. I don't know what it is. Hopefully we can feel it. Again. No, but this one, that one was carrying something green. I wonder if it is like mesquite um, leaves or something. And there is another one flying around, coming back. And I think that one is leaving. No, it didn't leave. It, just, it is just waiting for the other one to come in. As you can see, you can see the wings right there with it. There is another one, that one, and the one that is, has been flying around trying to go in. So as you can see, the one that was, that uh, seemed that it was leaving, it was just waiting for the one to come in and, and he went back in. This one that is trying to land has something brown on his legs or mouth, I don't know what it is. I 
I don't know if we are going to be able to see what they are carrying, but it looks like they are bringing something. I don't know if it is materials to build, to keep building the nest, or if it is food. So another one just left, and another one is landing right there. So anyways, it was fun showing you the yellow paper wasp activities. And as you can see, this is a really, really, really nice house for them. There is one more that we can see. And there is another one flying around me, trying to go back in. So I think they are all going back in for the night. So anyways, I had fun watching their activities. I hope you also had fun. I hope you like this video. And I will see you in my next adventure.